Hello, I'm Mitch with Compass Tools. Let's install Pathfinder Office. Uh, the requirements, you'll need a computer with a Windows operating system. If you have a Mac, uh, hopefully you can boot to a Windows operating system. You'll need an internet connection to download Pathfinder Office and also to activate the license. You will need to find that license or the installation code. And uh, if you do have an older version, you'll need to go to your control panel and remove it. If you're looking for your installation code and if you bought it from Compass Tools, uh, we will email you that installation code. Uh, if you bought hardware along with Pathfinder Office, we'll include the Pathfinder Office installation code in the packing list in the box. And it's also registered to somebody in their Trimble account. If all else fails, you can email support at compasstoolsinc.com but it really helps to have the email of the person you think purchased Pathfinder Office. Uh, here's a sample installation code. This is what it looks like. The 00300 indicates that it's a Pathfinder Office license. Once you've found your license, you're ready to download. Uh, here's a link, but we'll go ahead and, and find Pathfinder Office. I'm going to pull up a web browser. doesn't matter which one and I'm going to go to Trimble.com. Once you get there, go for Support and Training and go for the Support A to Z list. There are a lot of products on this Support A to Z list, so I like to hit Control F on my keyboard as in Control Find and type in Pathfinder Office. There it is. Once you get to the Pathfinder Office web page, uh, I encourage you to look around. There's a lot of good info. But we're going to go straight for technical support and then downloads. And here are all the different versions. If you're not sure which version you're entitled to, you can email your license to support at Compass Tools Inc. And we will research that for you. Uh, you get free updates for a year, so if you believe you're within a year of purchase, uh, go ahead and download the newest. I'm going to go for 5.6 and here's the download. I'm going to go ahead and save that to my desktop. Uh, the download, depending on your connection speed, may take 20 or 30 minutes. It is quite large. Uh, so while that downloads, I wanted to talk about the different license types with Pathfinder Office. Um, you can install Pathfinder Office in viewer mode as a single use license or a floating license. Viewer mode is not a bad way to go. You actually don't use your license at all. You install Pathfinder Office and pick viewer during the installation and it never asks you for a license. With Pathfinder Viewer you can have background maps uh, you can open your data, you can transfer data off your GPS unit, uh, and you can click and see all the information about your data. So Viewer is pretty good, um, but you're not able to create data dictionaries, you're not able to do differential correction, and you're not able to import or export data without a license, but Pathfinder Office in Viewer mode is great for a field laptop. For your office laptop where you do the, the bulk of the data processing, uh, most folks have a single use installation. They've uh, entered their license and they've activated it on this computer and it has the full functionality. Uh, unfortunately the, the license is locked to this one computer so if you have several people in your office who would like to use Pathfinder Office, if you've done the single use activation you have the license and they're stuck with the viewer mode so uh, might make sense to look at the floating installation type. The newer view versions of Pathfinder Office come with the Trimble Mapping and GIS License Manager. It's either in the same download or right next to the download for Pathfinder Office. But you install this Trimble Mapping and GIS License Manager on a server on your network that everybody can get to and you activate the license there and that way instead of locking the license to your computer uh, when you install Pathfinder Office you just give it the name 
or the IP address of the server that has your license and that way uh, multiple computers can use one license pretty much whoever opens the software first they get the license and if somebody else needs it they can close out you may need to enlist your IT group to install the mapping and GIS license manager on your server but overall it's a good option if you have several people wanting to use one license so let's go and install Pathfinder Office I've got Pathfinder Office downloaded to my desktop if, if yours is not downloaded yet go ahead and pause the recording uh, it is a zip file so go ahead and right click and extract the zip file Once Pathfinder Office is finished unzipping, go ahead and look in the unzipped folder. To install Pathfinder Office, click on autorun.exe. We will click install. Install Pathfinder Office. There's the license manager I referred to earlier. And these uh, steps are pretty easy to follow. We'll say next. Read the end user license agreement agree to it. You can put a name in there. And uh, for the first go around we'll go ahead and install as a viewer because I don't have my license handy and don't worry if you don't either you can actually turn a viewer installation into a fully licensed version uh, after installation so go ahead and go with viewer but if you have your license go for single use or if you have a license manager on a server go for the floating but we'll go for viewer complete is typical these are older programs so I usually leave them unchecked say next and it's gonna go ahead and install Pathfinder Office After Pathfinder is finished installing, it does bring up a notice that they did change uh, the geoid model interpolation. Uh, you might see a small change in your elevations. If you need more info, uh, read the release notes, and they were at that same page where we downloaded Pathfinder Office. But we'll go ahead and say OK. Uh, yeah, and we'll go ahead and check for updates. The Trimble website is best and doesn't look like there are any but if there are uh, you will see program updates and correction updates those are important and there might also be some language updates that you probably don't need but we'll go ahead and finish and we can exit out of all of this and I'll show you how to license Pathfinder Office even if you installed it in viewer mode. If you look under your start, all programs, and Trimble, there'll be a GPS Pathfinder Office folder. And a lot of utilities inside this folder, but there is a license administrator, GPS Pathfinder Office license administrator. And you'll see, because I installed in viewer mode, it is set to viewer mode. 
if I wanted to do the floating option where we share the license, you would just enter the name of your server or the internal IP address of that server and it would you could test it and you'd be doing the floating installation but we'll go ahead and do a single use and click activate select English as the language enter an installation code copy and paste works best and we'll go ahead and activate Pathfinder Office over the internet. And we're finished. Uh, this does like to jump back to veer mode, but I did just activate a single use license, so I'll switch back to single use and we're good to go. You do have a new icon on your desktop, GPS Pathfinder Office, and you're installed and licensed. Thank you for watching this recording with Compass Tools. Uh, if you have any additional questions, go ahead and email support at compasstoolsinc.com. And for other useful videos, visit compasstoolsinc.com.